Thank you, everybody. I, on behalf of my wife, Judith, and uh, JJ's sister, Jamie, and her husband, Colin, the Wellings, really want to extend our appreciation, first of all, to Anjan and his family and his extended family. What a wonderful weekend this has been for all of us. We have many new relatives. We feel now that we... Uh, <laughs> we weren't sure what, uh, whether they would accept us or vice versa. I brought my biggest cousin that I could in case we ended up fighting or something. Else. But uh, we're all in great shape today, and thank you so much for everything. I would like to see... So, uh, so thank you. Thank you for uh, honoring us with your presence and all of the friends who have so, been so wonderful to support, just as uh, uh, Reverend, uh, is it Reverend? In the, okay, Reverend. Uh, Louise said that this morning that uh, your support and love and so forth is very meaningful to me as her dad, and so I expect to hold you to all of that, okay? Uh, I just wanted very quickly to say, people may have been looking around and looking and saying, why so many darn peacock feathers? Uh, first of all, it's the national uh, bird, I understand, of, of India. I hope that's correct, yes. And uh, we thought that was good luck, at least I know JJ did. And this is all her idea, but I have to tell you, peacocks have kind of played a special role in her life. And certainly in mine, because there was a great awakening some 27 years ago. When she was less than four years of age, uh, we were in the house and my neighbor from across the road, who was a real farmer, came over and said, uh, Jim, have you seen a peacock outside your house? Well, we don't live in a zoo. We don't live in uh, Disney World. Never thought of a peacock hanging around our house. And I said, well, no, I haven't seen any peacock in the, or out here. And I says, why in a row would there be a peacock in the neighborhood? And uh, Adam said, well, my sister, Heidi May, down the road raises peacocks. And one of them got away. She called and he said, I really think I heard one between our house and your house. And uh, so I grabbed JJ and Jamie could hardly tell. But anyway, we go outside and start looking for a peacock. Well, we looked and looked and we didn't. We not only didn't see a peacock, we didn't hear the peacock that we were supposed to hear. So I had a meeting to go back to that evening, so I said, you know girls, there are no peacocks out here. I think Mr. Berger was wrong. So they go back in the house, I go to my meeting. When I get home, there's a handful of peacock feathers in the back porch as I came in, and sure enough, Mr. Berger had seen the peacock in the wheat field, went out, cornered the peacock, grabbed it, tail, grabbed some feathers out, gave them to the girls, and they were thrilled. Two days later, it was the weekend, and I'm about to take my little uh, trooper, four years old, on her first camping trip. And that simply meant going across the cornfield into the woods, and we were going to set up a tent and have our first overnighter in the woods, just dad and daughter. She puts on her little camouflage hat, she had on a backpack that her mom had fixed up for. We start trudging across the cornfield, and uh, she says, Dad, are there bears in those woods? And I says, oh, no, sweetheart, not here in Indiana. There are no bears around here. We go about 20 more feet, and I swear to goodness, this is absolute truth. JJ says, Dad, I says, what? You said there weren't any peacocks around here either. <laughs> So I knew I had a pretty smart kid on my hands at that point in time. We, uh, we appreciate all those moments that uh, we've had with JJ, and I hope you've had a few good ones too, and you'll have many more. We love all of you being here. Thank you so much, for, and I hope you enjoy the rest of you. Thank you, words. JJ. It works. I just want to say, 
to my brother and sister-in-law, a toast, or whatever you want to call it, about love and death. Um, I just want the two of you to realize that life is short. Everybody that you see in this room is going to die. Everybody that you know and love is going to die. And that's a fact. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I want to motivate you to do what you need to do while you have the time, before it's too late. To say what the things that you need to say before it's too late. To love the people you need to love before it's too late. Live each day. And just, just be together and love each other to the last day. That's it. Thank you. Uh, so I, I just understand that if I don't do it now, I will do it. I will have no chance. Um, maybe not everybody knows. Uh, well, everybody noticed that, that, that I am a bridesmaid, uh, but maybe nobody, not everybody knows that I uh, came from Russia three days ago, especially for this event. Uh, and she wins the award. Longest traveled by far. She wins the award. For this, for this wedding. So, show her some love j just for that. I just... And she caught the bouquet. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say, you know, um, I was a fellow at the National Endowment for Democracy in 2009, uh, in spring, and uh, actually uh, started working there with JJ at the same time. He also joined NED uh, spring in 2009. And, um, you know what? After some time, oh, it, it was somewhere in spring, um, uh, another fellow offered and suggested, hey, uh, I've got a house in Panama, why don't you come to visit? You can take a friend. I had no friends in DC at the time. And I wrote a letter, um, a message uh, to all NED people, hey guys, uh, to all Reagan Vassal Democracy people, hey guys, um, I've got a great idea to go to Panama. If there is anybody as crazy as I am, uh, here in NED, just uh, email me or come to my office and we'll discuss it whether you we go to Panama or not. And you know, in, in, I don't know when exactly, a few hours or a day later, uh, JJ showed up in my office, sat down and said, well, Kata, so we go to Panama. And, and um, at that moment, uh, first, I was absolutely crazy at that time. That I was really shocked and not sure uh, in a positive way. And I realized at that moment uh, my life was enriched by a new friend. And um, JJ, thank you so much for being my friend. Thank you so much, Anjan and JJ, for um, inviting me here. It's an honor for me to be bridesmaid. Really, it's the first time in my life. I don't know if I ever be a part of an American uh, wedding, ever, ever. Uh, I doubt. So um, you are wonderful. Um, GG, uh, I love you. You were a great friend, and um, you were it if uh, you were here in um, I'm in Russia. Whether it's possible to be friends, I said yes, it's possible. Um, I don't know whether um, it was true or not. Maybe, but since two years after that, I'm here. It seems like it's possible. Um, so I hope many, many, many years uh, to come we will be even better friends. I hope uh, to be here for all important events of your family, your kids, grandkids, and so on and so on. You are welcome to Russia. You are welcome whatever uh, I am. And uh, uh, have many, many years of happiness. Be, be a support to each other. Um, let each other be crazy. Let each other be with friends and be a part of uh, friends' world, and uh, we will be a part of your world. And I think we will all we all are rich to have each other. So really, um, just I love you and congratulations.
15 minutes. Make it, make it good.